<laughs> guys, I'm so excited because today is another Jodcast episode. As you guys know, this is all about anything e-commerce, Amazon, learning how to build a business so that you have margin to do the things you love with the people that you love. And today, again, we have our special guest, Ashley M. Lands, hey. New York City model, and she is learning how to build an Amazon store. She's asking the questions. She's got a lot of questions for me. Oh gosh. Should I be nervous? I have a lot of questions this oh, week. Oh shoot. So like <laughs> we're more, gonna go fast. More than normal, we're gonna go fast. My suggestion to you would be if you're just tuning into this podcast, you might want to go back to episodes to where we yes. started these questions. And you know it's really funny. I listened to our last episode that was posted yeah, when I was driving. driving. I know you saw. Yeah. But the funny thing is, is how much knowledge I've acquired in one week. Yeah. Some of the things that you said registered in a different way than they did a week ago. Interesting. Because you have context it, now. Right. The context is changing in my mind. So yeah. if if you're tuning in, my suggestion would definitely be uh, you know, like grab a piece of paper, get these notes, refer back. Cause like if I'm learning from our own podcast, totally, you know, totally. yeah. um, so big news, it was the whole weekend of seller central for me. So this was like my first weekend actually putting everything in order. Um, and I should preface, I was l taking the steps, my learning, but mm -hmm. we are actually opening my seller central account in a tutorial. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm super excited. We're going to do this tomorrow. So this is, you guys will be able to tune in and see the real process of my seller central account getting opened. And, um, same thing as before. Thank you guys for all your emails. It's been exciting. You've yeah. been seeing those. Um, so if you want, send me an email and when we have the tutorial ready to go, we'll send you that tutorial where you can the watch us. Yeah. A direct link. We're going to do a server so that I can host my servers. Right, is that, let me stop. Is that something that anyone can do? Yes. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> typically if you set up an Amazon store, you're gonna just set it up from your own Wi-Fi, right. <clears throat> your own office or whatever, and that's fine. But because we have so many Amazon stores around here and because Ashley's in an environment of some really high-end e-commerce sellers, it's a lot safer and gives you more control, especially because I know you like travel, especially yeah. when you're back in New York, you're able to use that server wherever you go. So it doesn't matter if you're in London or China or the US, it always looks like you're logging into the same place. And that way Amazon's automated system doesn't flag you and say, hold on, something iffy is happening here. <laughs> and Amazon's very, very sensitive about those things. And sometimes you're guilty to proven innocent. So we want to avoid that. Excuse me, fellas. And we <gasps> Jacob's coming in. <laughs> He needs to You're blow his nose. Oh. <laughs> You're not allowed to edit this out. This needs to go in This the has podcast. to stay in. You saw this, right? You saw this. Yeah, it, it's insane. You see what they do to us while we're trying to film. We're just seeing how good we are at focusing. <laughs> Random banana. All right. So, yeah, this is super exciting. And, guys, if you go to YouTube and you search just one dime and very soon i think ashley m lands you will probably see this same video well, you will see this video yeah within like a couple weeks for sure and yeah. it'll include a screen share so you can see exactly how to open an amazon seller central account yeah. but but tom back to you ashley i'm gonna drink my tea you ask away well i think that's great so one of the first things that i did which i should preface like fun news my dad's actually decided to get in on this and so, so cool. i know i know you know that but everybody else doesn't yeah, so it's I, still super cool it's very exciting for me because now i have like that partner of um you know we're going to be opening each our own seller central account but it's mm -hmm. just somebody to keep yourself accountable yes. and so we had a little like powwow over brunch yesterday I just moved to the table. <laughs> Didn't know you could do that. And this I, table spins. It's got magic. <laughs> um, so we had a little powwow and I said, you know what? We should we should start by setting our goals. Right. And we watched the 90 minute webinar together because it's like, I know these what things. 90 minute webinar could she possibly be talking about? Oh my about? goodness. <laughs> yeah. You, that's another thing. Send me lots of emails. You know, we have a free 90 minute training available from yep. Seth and it's cool because I like just the beginning. You tell about your story and, you know, things you can do. Well, one of the key points you hit on is, you know, timelines and things right. you do. So after we watched that Friday night. Yeah. And so then Saturday morning we had brunch and we talked about timelines. So we set ours to match. So by the way, I'm brand new. So if you're like, oh, I want to start, just get on my timeline. Um, you and can it's do a really it. good time to start, you guys, because you can yeah. actually watch and get feedback from someone doing it right. in real time as she goes. Yeah. And um, so we, I said, I want us to be really, I have to open my little tab with my notes. I wanted us to be really functioning and knowledgeable by Prime Day. Yeah. So I did some research and all the ads are saying that Prime Day uh, will likely be held on July 13th and 14th. So if they stick to this year's 48 hour length, so that's, you know, an approximate, but it's a good time. So I said we should be successfully running for 90 days yes. 
by the time Prime Day comes out. Yes. We can already have done PPC, yep. yada, yada, yada. So that puts us at April 13th. And the reason why 90 days is so important too is because it takes about 90 days for your account to get established enough credibility right. so that Amazon trusts you as a seller, which means you'll usually get your own buy box. I know it's kind of weird, but you can lose the buy box to yourself. There's these funny memes online of a guy jumping out of a window <gasps> and he bounces on a trash can and bounces out. In other words, you could have your own listing, right. but there's no add to cart button. So they have to literally click other sellers to see you as the only other seller. And the extra click causes conversion to go down. Those 90 days will protect your account from that. Yeah. In other words, it'll build that credibility, that trust index with Amazon. I just, you know, it's when it, obviously we can't hit Black Friday this year, but Prime Day is even bigger for Amazon sellers. So oh, yeah. that's It's like Amazon's orange yeah. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> this is the orange day. Right. Um, so that's where we started. And it's funny, your little segment, actually. Um, so we talked about this. So moving into exactly what you're saying mm -hmm. the buy box piggybacking um because i'm looking at starting with just simply doing arbitrage and if right. you're like why would you start by doing that it's just to build cash right so that's what i'm looking at is just getting in i have to start somewhere right and this fits my budget right um so as far as when i'm watching a video it, when you have the buy box and then you have you can piggyback someone's ad so mm -hmm. you can actually hit sell an item like this right what are the pros and cons to doing that yeah so if you sell an item like this you're listing on a product that's already in amazon's catalog so let's say uh, i don't want to use this one as an no. example again <laughs> it's a selfie stick there you go. <laughs> so you're gonna sell sticks. a selfie stick and so you type in the main keyword of the product and you notice this one shows up and right. you realize, oh, I'm selling the exact same one, same brand. You're reselling it, you're a reseller. You bought it at Walmart or walmart.com or Target or target.com. So when you piggyback, you are your listing is now listed as one of the sellers on that listing in Amazon's catalog. And the I'll give you the pros and the cons. The cons are someone else could win the buy box. In other words, if someone else has a lower price, and let's say all things considered equal, you guys all have fairly, all the sellers on there have a fairly healthy account. If someone else has a lower price, usually they're gonna have the buy box, assuming you're both shipping FBA, which means Amazon's shipping it, you're not doing FBM, which means you be shipping it. Right. So that's the first con, is you don't, you can't guarantee the buy box. But once your price is the lowest, okay. usually all things considered equal, you will get that buy box. And the reason okay. that buy box is important is if I go to a listing and there's an add to cart, most people, they don't know there's you know five, three, maybe 10 other sellers in that listing. They're not gonna click other sellers unless they're really price shopping. Right. They're just gonna go add to cart because by default they think, well, that must be the most trustworthy seller because they're right there or they don't even know those other sellers. Yeah. So your sales go up. So what you do in that situation is you wait until those other sellers sell off their inventory and then yours will pop up at the buy box because you're now the lowest price. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So, uh, you know, because these are just things that, not saying that, I mean, I guess to be completely transparent, perhaps I am somewhat looking at a shortcut to start. I and think that's fine. The only reason is just simply based on you know, start doing arbitrage, low cost to entry, but totally. I'm getting that experience. And exact what you just said is so key. You're learning, how, you're gonna become comfortable with Seller Central. Like, where do I click? Yeah. Where do I go? How do I list something? How do I turn it on or off? How do I ship it in? How do I add an, F an SQ label? There's so much you're gonna learn. And you're, you're learning, it's kind of like a simulator for flying, right? Yeah. They start with a flight simulator. They don't put them in a rocket and send them to the moon, unless they're crazy, <laughs> because there's a lot to lose. Just money, life fuel, all those things. So you get in a simulator and you can practice on something. And if you mess up, yeah, you know, I got a, I, I bumped my shoulder, I got a bruise. I don't know. You see what I mean? What? And the cost, Only one eyeball popped out of my head. <laughs> Only one. And the cost one. of that simulator is so much lower than the cost of all the fuel from the rocket. Yeah. So it's like you are practicing on a low risk platform. Right. A little bit of money, a little bit of test, but you're going to learn a lot. Then when you launch the branded private label product, boom, it takes off. So I have a lot of very tactical arbitrage questions. Let's There's so many different ways you could go with this. Um, so if I'm like, you know, like we said, start arbitrage, low entry cost, great experience. Um, <laughs> should I be looking for one product or should I be looking for multiple products? Multiple. Okay. And you'll buy about three per kind. You don't want to buy a lot more because to, in the world of arbitrage, everything moves so quickly. It's like looking at a cell or a molecule at its really in, finite level and there's all these things moving. It's like its own world, its own city. 
there's a lot going on. So if all of a sudden the price changes or the market shifts, you might have a lot of dead inventory and have to sell it at cost or even lose money on it when you sell right. it or not sell it at all. So as a general rule of thumb, you'll buy about three per kind of item. So if I'm selling a selfie stick, I'm yeah. buying three. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Starting, okay. but later you'll buy it, you'll sell more. So I guess, and I'm still so new. So, okay, I buy, I go on DHgate. I'm like, selfie stick. So DHgate, you're gonna use that. So that's the next step. So the first step is arbitrage where you're purchasing from brands at a retail level. So DHgate is a sourcing level. It's pre-manufacturing level. Oh. Okay. This is, no, I'm really glad you brought this up because I know a lot of you guys watching are going to buy this a ton. <laughs> so look at it this way. You're going, imagine you go into Walmart, you go at their clearance aisle, you take your Seller Central app and you scan and it pops up and immediately tells you whether or not you're approved to sell that item, okay? Um, on your account and it'll okay. immediately tell you whether or not you're going to make a profit because you can enter in the cost of the prof of the the product you're going to buy and it'll subtract the fees for you it will show you oh i'll make 13 dollars or three or 30. this is what you I, I completely did not resonate with me when you said go to walmart i thought yeah. you just meant to like look around so you're actually saying that i can take the seller central's app yes. scan it at walmart yes because because <laughs> your store is approved or not approved to sell certain brands. Okay. Like you couldn't do Disney or Nike or Reebok right away, but there's other more generic name brands you could do. Well, in fact, a lot of Walmart brands. So that's where you're buying at retail. You're buying either walmart.com yeah. or Walmart. And there's hundreds of places you can go. This is just a simple example where, and then you're going to resell it. DH Gate is the next level. Oh, see, that's okay. That's sourcing. So that's like <laughs> manufacturing China. Build me that selfie stick. I was not aware of that. In no, my mind, arbitrage fine. was just pick it up from DHK. So in my mind, arbitrage was selling things that were not differentiated. Correct. And DHK, the strategy ideas I sent you, yeah. the same. And, and I want to clarify that. So th this is one strategy. And, and by the way, guys, just want you guys to know this. We don't plan these talks. Yeah, we okay? don't. <laughs> she has a load yeah. of notes. I have no idea what's coming at me. And you also see me typing over here. It's because I that. am actually typing it for myself right. because I go back and refer to right. these notes. So, so. Like, I, I don't I don't want to depersonalize this, but but Ashley is being a case study for you. Yeah. Like literally this I am training her right now. This is real live one to one training. Yeah, it's totally true. I think about that. Like these are like my charger for this. <laughs> but hey, Just give me the ah! Ah! I gave you tea. <laughs> okay, we're good. It's black tea. I'm happy. I gave you tea. <laughs> um, okay, so this is so truly the start should be like at Walmart with the Seller Central's app. That's yeah. that's one. Yes. Okay, and so can I jump in real quick? Yeah. Just real quick. <laughs> Absolutely. Walmart, I guess I can. <laughs> um, Walmart.com, you can also do it on their online. So sometimes you're going to find products in the store that you won't find online and vice versa. Right. Guys, this information we're talking about is so dynamic. Last week, one of the people in the sound room, we see you, Caleb. We see we're you. watching you. He's like, I'm opening my store. <laughs> I want to know if he did it. Um, Caleb, could you please come in just for a moment yeah. and let us know if that happened? We really want to know. I want to know. Let's see if he comes in. Let's see if he comes in. I just, just want to put people on the spot. Here he comes. Hey, what's going on? Did you open your Solar Central account? <laughs> oh, not yet. When are you I going mean, to? Very soon. The more I listen here, the more I just get hooked up more. Of it. I think I think I'll just like wait on more questions and then make the right choices after he's you gonna mess let, up. He's gonna let Ashley make Whoa! all the mistakes and learn on him. Okay, I mean learn on her. Ashley's <laughs> like, this is our show. You know. <laughs> we should never have let this door open. After editing all those builder brand Caleb videos, is not my I, view on I the camera. Sneak peek. I'm feeling ready. <laughs> I can't. Now, now I'm the guinea. I'm like the true office guinea pig, aren't right. I? Oh, and man. He's, he's watching the guinea pig. He's letting Pressure. you suffer so he can yeah, learn from Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't know. That's okay. I'll, I, I like being the guinea pig. So uh, so this is really good. Um, okay. So. It's so, like the little big planet. Okay. So I go to Walmart uh -huh. and I get some selfie sticks just uh -huh. for the sake of the argument. Because it's in front of me, I can't. Um, yes. So, you're saying buy three selfie sticks. Yeah, we're, we're back to that point. Yeah, three selfie sticks. How and much do you think it's going to cost? Five dollars a piece. That's fifteen dollars. You turn that around to make money. Oh my goodness! Sorry, I'm excited. Wait, <laughs> I just want to say, you guys, it's like it's so simple. It's like mind blowing. 
why doesn't every beep, 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 person in the world do this? But the funny thing is my brain's melting a little bit over here why? because I had already overcomplicated it. Like it's okay. So here's my question. So I buy these three selfie sticks yeah. just so that my investment's not too high. Right. And then I, this is literally reminding me of like selling Nikes in high school. Like I was always you like, did that? oh yeah. Really? Oh, uh, why do you think I love living in New York? Like I'm so into that culture. So it's, it's just giving me, do you want, I, I got you. Um, so I buy three selfie sticks. Now, okay. what happens there? Am I going to send that directly to Amazon? Yeah. Okay. And fulfillment by Amazon is going to hold my old babies mm -hmm. until they get sold. And then mm -hmm. they're going to send them to people. Until they give birth and get shipped out. Okay. <laughs> like, and the, like Dumbo and the storks. <laughs> so if I only have three, uh -huh. and what happens if just whatever, fingers crossed, yeah. three people buy in one day. Yeah. What is, does my account automatically say waiting for more product no what happens then well the amazon has a section in seller central where it will actually show you like give you suggestions you're about to run out of inventory this one, like it does that i'm gonna be really bloody honest here i never look at it i never have I've, i used to use that to try to predict forecast buying more inventory for private label which is a bigger deal and i can explain that but i would ignore it but yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even look at it. I would just, you manage your store, you go over to your orders, you see your orders, yeah. you go to your inventory and it'll say one left, you know, or two left, then one left and it'll say zero. Yeah. And here's the thing, and I didn't say this before and I don't want to confuse, after you notice sell, selfie sticks are selling really well and let's just say you're making $8 a pop and you got 100% ROI, okay? Actually, I'm gonna make it really simple. This is awesome, check this out. You're selling them for 30, okay? okay? You bought them from Walmart for $10 a piece. $10 in fees, that's 100% ROI. Because you spent 10, you got that 10 back plus another 10. Now the other 10 is the fees. So right. it's like three ways. You're giving a third to Amazon, a third to Walmart, and a third to you because you're growing your wealth. Right. Okay? So you spent you spent $10, you met, you sell it for 30, 10 goes to Amazon. So now you, you have $20. Yeah. Now you take that $20 and you can buy two with those $20. See, and you just keep growing from there. But when you do your second and third and fourth order, Ashley, it's okay to start buying a few more, a few more, because you're testing it out. I wouldn't ever go over, let's say, this is gonna be a little random, but like 10 to 15. Yeah. Just because in arbitrage, there's too many variables and it puts your business at greater risk. This is also the downside arbitrage, is you have to keep buying, keep buying, keep buying. Whereas if you had designed this selfie stick on your own, this is your personal selfie stick, you could buy a thousand of them and they just keep selling for you. You don't have to keep going back and sourcing. You right. can just focus on marketing. So let's say, okay, so uh -huh. I, <laughs> wow, arbitrage is way simpler than I thought. I mean, this is literally like what I've been doing on eBay since high school. Like buy some Nike, sell some Nikes, buy some Nike, sell some Nikes, See, get a better deal. Blood. It's yeah. already in your blood to do it. That's awesome. So I, I just, I think I over, I over complicated what arbitrage was in my mind. So let's talk about so this is going well. Yeah. I've got it. I figured out something, the the system. So now I'm ready to buy things at a, a bigger level because I've, I've got some cash mm -hmm. and I want to go to DHgate next yes. and source cheaper. Yes. So what does that look like then? Excellent. And this is so cool. We started with a little bit of cash and a low risk environment and we turned that, let's just say, into $2,000 profit, okay? Over a 90 day period, for example. Now you got that $2,000. Right. You were reselling other products. Now you're going to buy a product. You're not reselling another product. You're buying it from someone who actually builds the selfie stick. So we'll, we'll stay on the selfie stick theme because we live in a, yeah. we took a selfie, selfie world. And so. And obviously um, we all just bought two of these. So the it's pe true, people actually. are still buying she them. She saw mine. She's like, I have to have one of those. Yeah. I'm like, I've never seen someone so excited about a selfie stick, and but now, now I get it and because now I can took, actually do And lies. now he took mine because I can tell because this one's perfect. <laughs> Did I really? It's totally fine. I really I, didn't mean no, to. I, I, it, I it, it was. I'm, I'm just messing with you. So it was adopted to the office. You can have it. No, <laughs> this this office needs selfie sticks because we like to share our exactly. phones, and I exactly. drop mine constantly. And we like to use our hands. So yeah. For, yeah. So we went from arbitrage reselling other products that have already been branded. So when you go to the DH gate level, and we need to come up with a really cool word for this, because here's what's cool. This is like a hybrid, what we're about to say, between arbitrage and private label slash brand building, okay? It's like a hybrid. It, how's it a hybrid? Because you're buying a product that the factory is making for you. Yeah. You didn't buy it from Walmart or Target or some other selfie stick brand, you bought your own. Yeah. 
and you can slap your logo on there if you want to, but you don't need to. The only difference is you're buying one kind in a big quantity, let's just say 500, but how do I know it'll sell? Because your product is a color or it's changed somehow in some way that no one else has done. So I guess, I think I, I misspoke earlier, Ashley, when I said it's not differentiated. It is differentiated, but at a super grain or very small, low level. Okay. You're not really trying to build a brand right now. You're just trying to generate cash, but at a faster level. Okay. Does so, this make sense? No, it is making sense. It's it's not that anything I was thinking was wrong. I was overcomplicating the very first step. Like I didn't right. realize that like yesterday I could have gone to Walmart and bought some selfie sticks. Um, so when you so DHgate, they're automatically set up. They understand that you want to differentiate a product. No, like if you um, maybe not really. I mean, they okay. don't even use the that word. So the lady who founded it used to be over Joyo, which was one of the biggest e-commerce online websites. In yeah. China and then Amazon came in and bought that from her and that became Amazon China for people to buy. So she took all that e-commerce knowledge and she applied it to suppliers. Okay. She would know, but do the suppliers on the platform know? I rarely have I heard a supplier even use the word differentiate. All they want to know is what is the product you want? What is the color? What are the dimensions? So, Here's the cost. That's so all they care about. Not using that word, but like if every selfie stick is black and I can say, hey, I like a pink selfie stick. Same selfie stick mm -hmm. that I see here, but can yeah. you make this pink for me? Yeah, yeah. They're totally used to that. So yeah. then that is somewhat differentiated. It, True. It's something. Yes. So now I'm going to take that. And so it's that the level that you get to start being a little bit more creative. Correct. So like Correct. we really start thinking about what am exactly. I going to do? Okay. So at that point, I guess I'm still, I'm still having the question if, all right, hold on. Okay. So now we're doing this. Uh -huh. Can I sell a selfie stick off DHgate at that point? And can I sell a battery tender off DHgate on my same Seller Central account? You can. Okay. So it, it doesn't have to be at that point could be multiple products. Okay. Absolutely. And you could still be doing the arbitrage, the reselling of the selfie sticks, yeah. as well as, let's say you came out with a pink one because no one else is selling it, doing those as well. Okay. Now here's a word you will hear, and this is what manufacturers mean by differentiation, OEM. And it's a little misleading, but it stands for original equipment manufacturer. Mm. And it's what a supplier, what they mean by that term is you are going to purchase a larger quantity and you're going then most, and you're gonna have it customized. Whether it's put as simple as putting a logo like they did here, or yeah. you know, right here they Somewhere. have use on a logo, there you go. or it's as simple as a different color. This is like a, a, a gunmetal black. This is a shinier black, or maybe physically like this is a thinner or stick, or this is stiffer so it doesn't flop. See right. what I mean? So those are that's all OEM. So they'll really they're gonna ask you. They're gonna want to know one of two things. Ashley, do you want to buy what we have in stock already? Because we have, you know, 20,000 of these sitting here already manufactured, which means they already sold it to another seller. Yeah. And that seller may or may not be selling on Amazon. It could be someone, you know, it in could Europe. could be Walmart. <laughs> True. Totally. <laughs> right. it, it could be anyone. So it doesn't mean they're on Amazon, but they're going to say, do you want these, okay, that we've already manufactured? If that's the case, they can show, they can sell you a very low MOQ, low minimum order quantity. Or if you want it customized, now, okay, we'll make new ones for you, but it's going to require a higher minimum order quantity to make it worth it because we have to set up our factory to build that at mass. And so if if I, okay, so let's say that I made $1,000 doing arbitrage from yes. Walmart selfie sticks and yeah. I was like, okay, and now I go to DHgate and I find something that I, I have an interest in and their, their price for actually, I'm still going to call it differentiating because even sure. if it's minimal, it is. So sure. Good point. what if they... Uh, say that the price goes up for the differentiation or it, it's a higher quantity would it be a bad thing to just say you know what like let me just have a the, the undifferentiated selfie sticks it depends like so really good question so there another way you could do this is if you use a tool like keyword tool dominator remember when we used keyword tool dominator we looked at that i have all of them yeah nice okay so when you go on keyword tool dominator if you notice it'll tell you here's what i love about keyword tool dominator guys and most softwares out there can't boast about this and credit to kyle for this most softwares do not give you actual search data from amazon it's from google oh yeah Some we of them were talking claim about it, this right but a lot of them it's not real so with Keyword Tool Dominator, it actually shows you what people are searching. So Ashley, if you notice that a lot of people are searching skinny pink selfie sticks or I don't know, whatever, you know, like, and then you go on Amazon and like all the selfie sticks are 
pink and fat or brown and skinny, but I don't see any skinny pink ones. Right. Now you can go back to the manufacturer and say, hey, do you guys have pink skinny ones? They might already have them. They might already have them in stock. They just haven't sold them to someone who's selling Amazon yet. So in that case, you can go with a lower MOQ. Okay. Which by that, I mean minimum order quantity. Right, right. Yeah. Anytime I use an acronym, if it doesn't make sense, tell me because I get used to it and I have to cut out the buzzwords and explain what I'm talking about. It's okay. No, for, for the most part, I've heard it somewhere, but sometimes I, I have a cheat sheet. You're not aware of this, but there's like a little emoji doing this. Yeah. And then there's a cat doing this. And uh-huh. there's like an office cheat sheet that I've been sharing with everyone. So we're, oh, that's awesome. we're slowly getting better over here. Cool. Um, so I guess moving on to that, one of the hardest things, and it's just because I literally am so new, is I'm still going back and forth with can you walk me through and i'm putting a little note here Mm -hmm. could you walk me through a day of product research yes so if you woke up in the morning and what would you what platform would you start on Mm -hmm. meaning you have different platforms to use what do you start on what do you go next like what does that look like yeah so i would start with the product category okay so i'm going to take pets as an example uh i love dogs i don't like cats KK likes cats. Oh, you have the a cat. Only... I didn't even know that until I saw her yeah, story. Yeah, it's like, it's like a love by transfer. Because I love KK, it transfers to the cat. He's Somehow cute. it trickles down to the cat. Cats are horrible. But He's my cute. dog Dakota is awesome, isn't he? He is awesome. He's I love really Dakota. Cool. We should bring him in here. We should like sit him right here. I've worked very hard to become <laughs> friends with that dog. Yes, the carrots are the way to his heart. <laughs> so let's say you start with a category that you have familiar, familiarity with already. I grew up with animals practically on a farm. We had two cows. We had chickens. We had ducks. We had pigs. We had so many things. And like 500 cats. Unfortunately, it scarred me for life. But I'll stop. And if you if you already have a category that you have familiarity with, it's gonna increase your confidence at developing products out of that category. Now, having said that, some people actually make the mistake to think, man, well, I've never been a chef, so I can never ever sell a single kitchen utensil. Not true, you totally can, you can learn. I sell pro- I've never been into toys. I've never sold toys before until I started selling on Amazon. Right. I didn't have interest in a toy factory. I'm not Santa Claus, but we sell a lot of toys. See what I mean? So I had to learn over time. I get what you're saying is when you're first starting out and everything feels so big and yeah. uncomfortable, then like give yourself a little grace there yeah. to like for me and my dad, we actually were already doing that. We were looking in the car category because like I'm a car, hey, I'm a car dude because right. of my dad. Right. So when we started doing that, we were doing things that we naturally have bought or understand how they would work. Yeah. Um, and it was, you know, he was like, then we can look at fishing. I, I want to like, say something. I don't know if I should say it or not. Tell me. Okay. I'll tell you. So the car category, the automotive and sports, parts of it are gated, parts aren't. By gated, I mean when you start doing arbitrage and you start building up uh, trust and credibility with Amazon, you can apply to be ungated and your chances of getting ungated are much greater because the arbitrage you did. Now here's the cool thing. The automotive and sports category is one of the highest demand on Amazon and the, one of the most avoided by sellers because people don't know where to start. So because you and your dad already have experience in that, I would 1000% recommend you think that direction. Yeah. If you guys are either going to launch your own product or partner up with a company that has a product and you are the badass marketing team that tells the world about that product. Yeah, we were looking at things that are the necessary but things don't that you wouldn't really think about yeah. so this particular product that we were looking into is something that it typically gives be like a, a, a husband or and I, I hate to be sexist about it but it's like even being a chick I know it's true that it typically women they have like that male figure that they right. teach about cars right. and it's one of the things that is like highly suggested to women if they're if they admit they're not great about monitoring their vehicle mm-hmm. it's like you need one of these it'll help you out a lot mm-hmm. and I remember when I first got mine, I was like 16. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is useful. So we were trying to look at things that are, that have a use for people's Super lives. And, and then you just yeah. need to know, like, oh, you should probably have one of these. Um, so that's great to to know. So you start. You in the start pr- with the product category. Okay. Then the next step is I would go. Now, before I share, there are a hundred different ways you could go about doing this. I'm going to give you a method that's worked very well for me. Okay. okay. This isn't like the only way. But it's super helpful. If you go to merchantwords.com, they will give you a plethora of ideas. And in fact, their founder spoke at one of our big events. So you go to merchantwords.com, you type in car parts, for example, and it's going to pull up a plethora of all these ideas. Okay. And let's just say one of them is a um, change your tire. What do they call those things? Accessory. Accessory. Oh, oh, yeah. Wrench. The jack wrench. Jack. Thank you. Yep. 
Excuse me. Or another one, sorry. Another one. <laughs> I'm a vegan and it's affecting my esophagus. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll talk about that in a minute. Well, yeah, or um, like a battery tender or battery, things like it, that. It could, be, right. it could be next to you, the little console area, something that holds your cell phone or a cell phone holder on your uh, windshield, whatever. There's so many car parts out there. Right. And it's going to give you ideas. That's it. Mm, it's just ideas. It's just ideas. So right now you're completely in the brainstorming stage. Yep. The next thing you're going to do is you're gonna take those keywords and you're gonna start dropping them into Keyword Tool Dominator and it'll show you if people are searching for that keyword on Amazon. Mm. So it's one thing to have a good idea, but that good idea is only as good as that keyword being on Amazon. People are hunting, shopping for that keyword. That's the key thing. You're dropping nuggets right now. You guys, are you getting this? Because this was yeah. us yesterday. We were all excited. We're like, okay, let's log into all these things right. and let's make accounts. Right. But then the problem is it's like, okay, I had like all of these different accounts and I, I was looking at my dad and you know, he's playing on one and I'm playing on another. I was like, no, 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 there there has to be an, an order. Right. And, and a, a process, a formula that you follow. And, and I'm sure that it, does, it gets into that in the membership. I'm still oh, in the yeah. start. I'm not defined yet. Right. Like, we, yeah. we're just and guys, rushy, if, right? if you're, if you wonder what we're talking about, just go here. Go to justwhenime.com slash freedom. That membership shows you exactly how to do this step by step by step by step. Slideshows, quizzes to test your knowledge, videos, all of that. Justwhenime.com slash freedom. But I mean, this is great because the lesson's set up very strategically to make yeah. sure you're taking your time. But, you know, I because I'm our little guinea pig on the camera, this is good because yeah. it's just ramping up my ability to use that. So by the time I get to the lessons, I'm already yes. becoming like more knowledgeable. Yes. And like I said, frame of reference is huge. It's very surprising to me how I can listen to something. I said this to Josiah yesterday because yeah. I was he was referencing something he mentioned in a leaders meeting. And I said, I didn't have any context when you said it. Now that you're explaining it again, and that especially over text, because it was a, like an HTML right. code. <laughs> I, I was like, it's giving me better context. Yeah. So it's something to remember when you're doing these lessons and you're going through the membership, it's really daunting. Yes. But like give yourself a little time to get that context and maybe circle back because yep. that's been really helping me a lot. Go faster. It's like watch something, do some research, circle back, get it again because there's no way in one fail swoop you're going to get all, you're right. not going to get it all. And that's why the community is so important in the membership is where you can ask these kinds of questions and a lot of people, sometimes you get 50, sometimes 100 responses of people trying try this, try this, try this. And you have coaches monitoring that as well with expert knowledge. They know how to help you. They can give you the advice you're looking for. Right. It's true. I actually put something in the Facebook group because I was asking how much thought did everybody put into their email? I was right. just curious. And um, somebody was, I, I have G Suite. And he was like, you know, you can actually create your own through G Suite where right. it's like your domain, yeah. which that's a funny thing about a community. I had a tool that I didn't even think about how I could utilize it in and a different way. And that person told you how to leverage that tool. Well, right. Yeah. He, and I, he was like, you should get G Suite. I said, oh, I already have it. And he's like, well, then you can actually domain yourself. Yeah. So it's so nice to have just other people's brains being involved because G Suite I use for like sheets and things like that. Right. But now to think of something else, you can use it for your business. It's super exciting. Exactly. So once you're in Merchant Words, you find those words, you get ideas, you drop those in the Keyword Tool Dominator, it will tell you, it'll rank how often that's being searched. It won't tell you the search volume, like right. how many times it's being searched every 30 days. That's usually what people mean when they say search volume. Yeah. But it will give you a ranking from one to a 10. And if it's a one, that means it's searched a lot. And if it's a 10, it's searched not as often. And it will, when you start seeing these other words, it'll also give you more ideas as they come up. Yeah. Let's just say for an example, it's a, um, let's just say it's a cell phone holder, windshield cell phone holder. And you notice that that one is, has ranks really well on Keyword Tool Dominator. It also, you got the idea from Merchant Words. Then you take that word, you drop it into Amazon search bar. And if you notice that no one else is selling that, product or that version of that product, right. now you have found something that is DHgatable and you can go to DHgate and order that product. Okay. Yeah. So that that's one method very quickly moving from idea stage to the market. What are people looking for? So you're going from, and it's, I'm just circling back to the research por portion. Yeah. So merchant words, go you're going to go next keyword tool dominator. Correct. From there, do you want to hit the other platforms like Amaze Owl, Jungle Scout, Helium 10? Do you want to hit that platform from there? You can. Okay. You absolutely can. And the, I think the best way to communicate this is whether it's Jungle Scout or Viral Launches in Market Intelligence or... Uh, Manny Coates' Helium 10 
or Oleg Zalinder's Amazow or any of those kind of tools, right. whatever it is, there's three main things you're looking for when you use those tools. You're trying to find out how often are these products sold on Amazon. So let's say, yeah, of course, there's tons of cell phone holders on Amazon. But if you're looking for a special one that allows you to put two cell phones on it, there you go, yeah. a double cell phone holder, mm -hmm. they will tell you, first of all, how often are cell phone holders selling? If the volume is high, you know there's high demand. So they're telling you the demand of the market. Second, they're gonna tell you how many competitors are there for that product. So if there's you know 57 competitors, and by competitor, I mean people who are selling at least in this category, it would be have to be a minimum of about 20, 25 per day. You know they're someone to contend with. You're gonna be fighting them to get on the first page of search results. So the greater number of them that there are, the more PPC advertising money you'll spend to get your product on that first page. Right. And the more differentiation you need to do to give people a strong reason to buy your product when it has two reviews over theirs when it has 200 reviews and they launched it three months ago. Now, for arbitrage, do I wanna go ahead and go through this process? No. Just so No you need to at all, yeah. Arbitrage, you keep it simple, you use your seller central app. There's a lot of other apps you can use, but I would start with that. Okay. And all you're looking at is, is the BSR, well, let me step back for a minute. You're finding out if you can sell this product. Yeah. You're finding out if there's a high demand for the product and you wanna know you can make money. And if you're approved, you can you know you can make money and the demand is strong and I can explain that in a second. Then you know you can turn that quickly into cash. When you go to private label, you're thinking about those things, but you're also thinking about I'm building a new product. Right. It's new. Right. And so I need to know they're actually gonna buy it, you know? <laughs> Slap that mosquito ah. if you guys have not ah. if you guys have no idea what <laughs> we're laughing about. Every time she does this, it has to do with episode one, <laughs> the one about the mosquito. <laughs> The mosquito woman. Uh, um, this is very helpful. So, you know, because it's just so many little things and one set of steps doesn't necessarily apply to the other. So Correct. I just, that that was really my question. So I, I'm trying to differentiate in my mind arbitrage versus like when you make that step. But we could be doing that research from the beginning, right. you know, pretending like we have the cash, pretending like we're ready to go to DHgate while we're doing arbitrage because because it would cut down on that, there's no research involved, yeah. then like we still can like step forward in that and go through this process. Yeah. So let me- I mean, uh, everyone watching, just reach into your wallet right now or look at your bank account or look at your checkbook if you still use those old things and just ask yourself this question, do I have $20 to spare? Do I have $100 to spare? Like, could I give up $200 today if that's what it took to start building momentum and that growing into a cash flow business that gives me margin to do the things I love with the people I love. Right. Like you guys, it is so doable. It's literally, if, if you're like, well, but, 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 I promise you the only restriction is in your mind. Let me show you guys. I want to share my phone. I'm going to ask the guys to come in here and make sure you guys can see this. <laughs> so I want you, you guys to now. see, <laughs> okay. I want you guys to see what I see. Tell me if they see that. Okay. And I'll hold it right there. Okay, watch this, you guys. I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna hit Seller Central, boom. I want you to notice 21.43 thousand, and this was started in July, July of this year. That's three months ago. <laughs> I did Three that. months ago. That's a mixture of arbitrage, some private label, a little bit of drop ship. It's a bunch of different stuff going on. Now watch, I'm gonna, just so you guys know, this is freaking real. Let me go to units sold, boom. See that right there, how many is sold? 361 in the last 30 days. Go back to product sales. You can see 565 US day on that date. Guys, I'm just telling you, hold on one second, let me go back. Back, go back. Okay, look, 21 point, oh, sorry, 21.43 thousand in 30 days. And you can see how much it scaled by this right here, 220% up. If you're wondering, can this happen, Seth? Yes, it can happen. Oh, but are there orders on there? Yes, there are orders on there. Guys, there's no reason you can't do this. This is a brand new Amazon store. This is about to happen with you, Ashley. It's gonna happen with you guys. So I hope this podcast is so freaking damn good that when people listen, they cannot walk out with a single excuse. And the only thing that would hold you back is the person standing in the mirror. That's it. Like, I hope it is so good, Ashley, that people get everything <laughs> they need to make it succeed. Um, 
I'm so ADD. Wait, can you go back? Because you were totally nailing it. And I was like. Yeah, totally. No, it's fine. So I just hope this this podcast is so helpful that we give so much tactical information that the only reason someone wouldn't move to action and make money is because of their own personal stuff. Yeah. Not us. Like, I, I want to clear the way for you. Like, I'm going to clear the road. Here they come. Let's go. The path is paved, baby. All you got to do is get off that butt and get out there and make it happen. Yeah. I mean, the, the funny thing is, is it's really so a little backstory on my dad he just retired yeah. so this is a, a new venture for him and my dad was a terrible candidate to retire a little bit early because I was like oh this is great yeah. and so he's so excited to do this but you know he told me yesterday he was like I'm a, I'm a little nervous just about you know the investment and uh, all that which is understandable because it's so new to him as well and I I said go back and watch Seth's videos from the YouTube channel I said go back yeah. and I said, if there's one thing I know about that family is one, they did it together, but two, you openly admitted that you were in debt yeah. when you started this. $24,000 in debt. And my only weapon was a freaking little 10 cents coin, a dime. And you had kids, you know, yes, like I'm, I'm an kids. adult. My dad doesn't have to worry about me now. You know, yeah. like it's not, he doesn't have that burden. And I told him, I was like, if they can do this, we can do that. You will so crush it, you and your dad. And you know what's yeah. neat about it? You're doing it with your dad. Like, think about this. On our deathbed, are we really going to talk about, I made this much money? No, it's the money we made that gave us the time and experiences that you can't put a dollar sign on. Like, right. the fact that you get to spend your time with your dad in this way. Yeah. You know how cool that is? I, it was, like, it's I, I think that's so, I mean, I am a dad, so I kind of get it from a, a different perspective. That's amazing. I get to build a business with my freaking family. Josiah yeah. is the co-founder. He's my 18-year-old son. Yeah. That's so cool, Ashley. It's it was it was funny to see and and I would encourage somebody to consider this if you're doing it because obviously I've been studying on my own up yeah. until this weekend and it was so interesting to have that dynamic of just another person suddenly doing it with you, yeah. I was like a hundred times more excited. I was already excited that like I that after our last podcast, I was so excited, <laughs> so and I was cool. like, "That's it, that is it. This <laughs> right. is the, this is the time." <laughs> and I was already excited, but then all of a sudden, when I got to kind of start showing him some of the videos and walking him through the membership, yep. and like here's the culture, and yep. we're sitting at You're lunch working together, and he was like, "What's this? There's a, there's a Facebook group," and I'm like, "Yeah, ask, be a part." Of the Facebook you're building group. memories, you're and doing life with your dad while you're making money. And if people are just thinking, "Well, all I need to do is make money, then I'll be happy," wrong. I'm a millionaire. It doesn't make me any happier at all. You know right. what makes me happy is what I do with my heart, what I do with my mind, what I do with my body, how I treat people. That's what brings joy. That that becomes relational. It's yeah. the time you spend with people you care about. Those memories are the most precious. It was just it was super exciting to add that element of somebody else. So I, the reason I said I would encourage someone to think about that if you maybe you started and and lagged a little bit or maybe you're just nervous. Yeah. Think about perhaps enrolling someone, you know, to be part of the process. Totally. It's like someone you personally have to keep you accountable. Granted, if you're part of the membership, you know, you do have the coaches. Huge advantage. But like that well yeah huge advantage but also if you have someone you're doing it with it's kind of like a cute competition yeah. that you could do things together learn together yeah, when two people are helping each other if one falls down the other person picks them up right like, and sometimes you need that in any kind of venture because yeah. some, you know i was meeting with my business partners today and she saw something i didn't see and she's like well what about this and i was being good cop she was being bad cop we weren't even trying but we're working with this engineer and it was really funny she got pretty fierce <laughs> and i was like yeah but he did this but it made a great experience he's like okay guys I'm gonna make this happen like the end result he's gonna go back and bring, bring us an even better idea right. because of the partnership that you have yeah it, it brings you a strong force so the, something okay so can we talk about food uh, I would love to talk about food I'm actually very hungry <laughs> just really quick guys I've just been dying to share this with the world and I need like a place to share so um, Ashley as you know I made a huge change in my diet over the last couple days like huge I know <laughs> and do you think I'm crazy no I don't think you're crazy at all I think, I think I'm crazy my wife thinks I'm crazy too. Maybe I'm not totally crazy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Well, <laughs> we're crazy. Crazy the, people. <laughs> your choice is not crazy. Yeah. So I, I just wanted to just take a moment and explain why. So guys, I decided that I'm going 100% vegan. Like I'm literally eating no dairy. I'm eating no meat at all. I'm done. And it's not because I think it is a sin or wrong to in a 
uh, non-painful way to kill an animal. And I know some people will stop listening now and you hate me for this. I want you to know I still love you. And if you ever ate a hamburger in life, then you're being a hypocrite, but we won't talk about that. But <laughs> throwing seriously, glass though, stones, no, throwing I'm, stones. It, it, it is horrible what they do to some animals and yeah. how they treat them. That is wrong. But that, that wasn't the main impetus, though that's part of it. The main thing is I've been just studying it in depth. And as an entrepreneur, what you put into your body has a huge impact on your ability to do everything that you do, like how long you can stay awake and work or how much sleep that you need or how well you sleep or how you feel about yourself or how you view the world or what do you do when you're tired? And they've done so many tests with NFL uh, players, uh, Olympics, Olympic athletes, and they found again and again that people on a vegetable, grain, fruit diet, they last longer, their endurance is greater. The strongest man in the world, he, he ox lifted like this ox yoke over, a, it was like over 1200 pounds, it was oh, insane. Wow. Um, if you guys watch the film Game Changers on Netflix, it had a huge impact. But all that to say, I'm just, you know, curious what you guys think. I know it's kind of random, but it really isn't because what I put on my body has a direct impact on how I live my life. But I've gone completely vegan and absolutely love it. So ha have you ever, were you a vegetarian before? or was no. So you went from just like kind of more paleo to... Yeah, so I didn't, I rarely ate red meat before this. I right. would eat fish and I would eat chicken. So if it swam or it flew, I would eat it. But, <laughs> and I would eat cheese. I like cheese a lot. Swiss cheese I think is amazing. Those special cheeses from, you know, Sweden the or Kraft Switzerland. Cheese, or, yeah. Exactly. Not craft so, brand, but craft Yeah, artesian. I know what you meant. I, I know what you meant. Not the craft <laughs> brand. <laughs> So that's like macaroni. Yeah. Um, but for me, the reason I, it's funny because this decision I've come to make has been building up for years. And I always knew in my heart and mind that eating vegetables and fruits and grains is, is a healthier option. I knew that. I didn't need anyone to convince me of that. I just needed something to give me the final push. Right. And the reason I'm sharing all this is I think the same is true for being an entrepreneur or starting to sell on Amazon. Sometimes people will listen, they'll get a tidbit here, a tidbit there, idea here, idea there. But at some point in their journey, you just need that one little push to start and then you never look back. And yeah. it's only been 36 hours actually since I started this vegan diet and I feel amazing. Like truly, truly, I woke up this morning with so much freaking energy and I already have a lot of energy. In fact, when I said on Instagram live with my family, you think I have a lot of energy now? Everyone started laughing, but it's it's true. People who are on vegan diets, the energy level is just insane. So I just want to apply it to what you guys are thinking about is don't wait. Don't there every day you wait, you're delaying your opportunity to build that life of dreams that you want. And if you need that extra push, if you're like, well, Seth, Ashley, I really need help. Why don't you email Ashley at justonedime.com or Seth at justonedime.com or go to justonedime.com slash start. Why don't you let us help you get that boost? Like we can help you. But if you're actually listening to this podcast, I'm sure you would like to make more money. And I'm telling you guys again, it's not the money that makes you happy, it's the memories it builds. Yeah, okay, I'm I mean, done ranting, thanks for listening. That, no, <laughs> I just had to share that. But it, it all circles back and it's funny because I really enjoyed everybody that was emailing and they, they were coming from YouTube, but I, I really yeah. enjoyed actually conversing with people over email this weekend um, that they were asking questions about the podcast because you know, like I look at this as such a big opportunity to change my life. Yeah. And the one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this in the first place was something that really struck my heart is everything that I was doing there's there's no nothing wrong with what I was doing in a career choice yeah. but what I realized is the long-term effect was not there and I had very particular people that were coming into my life and I wished that I had a way to speak into their lives mm. and some of them it was personal and and in that area I could help but the people that were having financial struggles I, I'm going to use an example I'm not going to name any names I, I had a fr very close friend of mine and I didn't even know this that she was having a really hard time paying the mortgage on her house to yeah. the point her mom had to help her and she was telling me about this struggle which she's better now I didn't know this struggle at the time and I thought well wow, what if I would have been able to speak into her life about yeah. this process? Because she told me she was working four jobs and her oh mom still had to help her. And oh she goodness. said, I wouldn't. Four freaking jobs. And she said, I wouldn't. It just wears on you. Yes. I mean, how? Because your your mind's constantly split. Versus focusing on one thing that right. you can build. And even when you go to sleep, you wake up. And what do you have, guys? You have more sales than before. More sales. I am wealthier now, Ashley, than yesterday because I went to bed. Yeah. It sounds ridiculous, but it's true. Because what I did months ago 
and also years ago is now benefiting me today as like surplus. Yeah. It's like literally sitting here waiting for you guys to to sell the selfie. We should call this episode sell the so, selfie. Yes, I love it. But I mean, the point being is uh, the approach I was originally taking that I'm so happy you jolted me out of it last week because I was like, oh, I have to do this and I have to do this. And I, I saw somebody said it somewhere in the comments or maybe it was a message that I, I'm getting my financial plan together yeah. and then I'm going to do the membership. Yeah. And I guess what I would say to you is, is that's not... Life is about action, and yes. and you'll never you'll never ever ever be at a place where you're ready. Yeah, it's like I remember people telling me and KK before we got married, like you're not ready. You're not like cool. I'm getting married because I want to get married. Like and yeah, you figure it out as you go. You know, and I'm trying to think of a, a, another illustration for that concept. But you'll never be totally ready. You you there's things you can't know until you do them. So what are you waiting for? Yeah. Like in literally like, okay, I've been doing this for years. Ashley's starting out. You get both ends of the spectrum <laughs> to support you yeah. and a lot of people in between. I mean, I don't know anyone doing that. Yeah. I mean, I really hope that it helps. Like send us an email, ask a question. Yeah. We don't mind because like we both, I can tell like everybody in this community had, that's the heart of like something about you wanting to be able to influence someone else. Yes. And there's a teacher community here. And so it's like when I learn something, I can't wait to have someone to share it with because you know that it'll help them. Yeah. And I think that's really, I mean, we can end on that topic, but that's gotta be it. Like at some point you just have to say against all odds. My mom calls me the comeback kid. Hmm. That's her nickname for me. That's and she's really cool. like, there is something about you. You get knocked down so hard and you get back up and again. you just always get back up. And yeah. I said, it's not that like, I don't need a nickname. Yeah. I don't need to be stereotyped. It's because I get back up. There's yeah. nothing special about it. It's just, I keep getting back up and that's really you have to just kind of take it and get back up <laughs> yeah. guys ashley a-s-h-l-e-y at just one dime.com seth s-e-t-h my name's really short <laughs> but yours is easy to spell <laughs> seth s-e-t-h at just one dime.com <laughs> or just one dime.com slash freedom if you want to know about the membership slash start if you want 90 minutes of free training or just go to the link below on this episode and it's check here. it out you guys <laughs> whether you watch this on youtube or spotify or itunes we're like on how many platforms 13 we're 13 right now 13 we're platforms so if you just google it you're gonna see you it, get you guys. your favorite <laughs> yeah <laughs> we can pick your favorite well thanks for tuning in we definitely love you guys keep watching ask us questions we answer them <laughs> never hit the gong you guys gong! <laughs> have an awesome rest of your day this is Seth Kniep, Kniep It Real. This is Ashley M. Lands, New York City model, becoming an entrepreneur mogul on e-commerce and Amazon. You guys get out there and blow it up, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs>